skeleton to the left of the path hands something to the spirits that approach the underworld entrance. Take it, please. Next. Huh. Seen this screen a few times. Guess we know we're truly in the land of the dead. Alright, I'm gonna quickly save in another slot for safety. Because things get a little trickier once we get into the land of the dead. Also slightly more fun, because obviously they're not gonna let us go through. Because, although I could just hand them the ticket and go through, there's something I need to do before I can actually slip through. Alexander picks up the two bones on the ground. Now what do these bones remind him of? Ah, uh, yes. Now I remember. Yeah, we get a musical number. The skeletons number. are overcome with the musical call of the bones. They begin to jiggle, then to dance. Yeah. There's a lot of musical numbers in this. I'm okay with it. It also shows how talented Alexander is that he could play all these different instruments. Look at him go. Shake that funny bone. Tickle them ivories. Would they be ivories at this point? I don't know. Look at them go! Yeah! They're having the time of their afterlife. Oh, okay, we got ourselves a nice little line there. Yeah, look at them go! Yeah! Uh, Alexander it finishes happen. his tune, and the skeletons resume their posts. Despite their frolic, they don't seem any friendlier. Aww. The music is supposed to be in international language. Anyway, I got myself a key. Alright. Glad well, that that's taken care of. Where's my ticket? There's my ticket. I have a ticket. Oh, on. Next. And this time I'm not actually dead for this. Yet. Give me time. Alright, let me save again really quick. Because we gotta be cautious, because guess what? This is the River Styx, and we kind of need... Stuff from the River Styx. Where's my cup? There's my cup. Alexander will have to get a little closer to the river Styx in order to collect some river water in that teacup. Okay. So I have to get a little closer. Where's Styx first? Let me look at this knight here. Apparently, Alexander's not the only one who's curious about the body on the path. Huh. The knight is wearing one black gauntlet. There appears to be some writing on the gauntlet but Alexander can't quite make out what it says. Mine! Alexander takes the knight's black gauntlet and examines the writing on it. Flesh may cross the portal and seek its master, death. Flesh may go where death is trod and challenge like Scheherazade, he who reigns beneath the sod to spare a mortal's breath. Oh. Zounds, that sounds serious. Also, Zounds, what are you, Scooby-Doo? Uh, oh, oh. Alexander slips off the path God damn it. and plunges into the river Styx. Ah! Well, as that's bad. As soon as the water touches his skin, Alexander's mind and body go numb. He sinks like a lifeless stone. I, I was just here. <laughs> Dick it. Oh. <laughs> Next. Whoops. Hey, hey, what a fix. Bathing in the river sticks. Do not mock me. Okay, so let's try that again. With less death this time, please. Uh, Alexander's not the only one who's... Yes, okay. I'm taking the gauntlet. Alexander, take flesh, make zone. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna save after that so I don't die again. 
Good job, me. All right. Now let's actually move forward. Slips off the path. God damn it! Stop slipping. As soon as. Well, now. <laughs> <laughs> this is where gonna be most of the deaths. Me falling off the goddamn ledge. Hey, hey, what? Hey, hey, it were the monkeys. Alright. Easy does it. Easy does it. There we go. Okay, this spot I think is a closer one where I can actually get the river sticks water. Because I kind of. Oh. That's the lantern. I don't need the lantern. I need this. Alexander scoops a little of the river sticks into the teacup with the swamp ooze, being careful not to get any of the black water on his skin. Hmm. Good idea. Also, hello, who are you? Charon stands in the boat, eternal ferryman of the dead. Alexander can't quite make out what's under Charon's cowl. And he's not sure he would want to. Yeah, I don't think so. I must see the Lord of the Dead. Please, let me ride across the river Styx on the ferry. Charon apparently has rules as strict as those of the skeletons at the underworld's entrance. Alexander is not getting on that boat until he gives Charon the appropriate fare. He needs payment, of course. Like, good thing I have these nice little coins I got. Will these coins do as fare for passage? Charon accepts the fare and waves Alexander onto the boat. Welp. We are off. Here we are. I'm also going to save here really quick. And we're going to approach that door. Alright. Alexander reaches out to open the gate. Suddenly, the wood trembles beneath his fingertips. Uh huh? Uh! What touch has awakened my sleep? I smell the blood of a mortal. Hi. Reach out thine hand again, fleshy human. I'd rather I not. Might devour it. I'd rather not. Also, I it see. It's been uh... centuries since I last ate. Uh, okay. Well, I guess we. Uh, I guess uh, the voice actor for Frodo had another part into the King's Quest 6 other than the Captain of the Guard. Anyway. Despite his fear, Alexander summons his bravest voice to command the living gate. I would pass, gate. I have business with your master. My master and thine, human. I would be pleased to introduce thee. Only step forward, and thou shalt meet him shortly. No, thank you. I come to meet the Lord of the Dead with my flesh still intact. And why yeah. should I let you pass, human, when I would much rather eat you? I have been told that there is a way for humans to enter Death's realm. There must be something I can do. Some task that will allow me to pass through your doors, Gate. Hmm, I seem to recall something. A trick. Uh, perhaps, um, a test. Mm. Test would work. Ah, yes. As long as it's multiple choice. Should a human try to pass, a riddle is Gate's wont to ask. A riddle, you say? <clears throat> A riddle it is, then. And if thou wouldst fail to answer Gate, his thirsty jaws will be thy fate. That's fair. Agreed. Listen as though it meant thy life then, human, for it surely does. Yeah, kinda. My first is foremost legally. My second circles outwardly, 
My third leads all in victory. My fourth twice ends a nominee. My whole is this gate's only key. My first is foremost legally. My second circles outwardly. My third leads all in victory. My fourth twice ends a nominee. My whole is this gate's only key. Now see, this is a very infamous little thing. Partially because, well, it's a very easy poem and it's a very common poem I've seen a few times. I've used it a few times on my friends. I'm sure some of you in Discord have seen me use it a couple of times. I have a fondness for this. But the, uh, the answer to this is pretty simple. First off, if you've got that little note from the Black Widow and the Isle of Wonder, but also the entire theme of this entire game in general. My first, foremost legally. L. Second circles outwardly. O. Third leads all in victory. V. Fourth twice ends a nominee. E. The answer is love. Love. Ah, thou traitor of the mortal plane. <laughs> How didst thou guess love? That riddle should never have been solved. Oh. Love is unknown in this realm. Well, it's because we're not from this realm. Be banished? Even from this place. There are spirits still pining of it on the surface above. Still less can it be banished from my heart. Mm -hmm. Enough! Burden me not with thy poetry. Pass through and quickly before I change my mind. That's fair. Well, now we are actually facing the Lord of the Dead. This should be interesting. As you can see, he's quite monstrous looking, and the entire realm of the dead appears to be of him. All that weird architecture we're seeing? Yeah, look, it's all from him. Alexander approaches the throne of the Lord of the Dead. Why have you entered my domain? Still wearing your flesh. Well? If you are so anxious for death, you might have found it easily enough in the land of the living. I mean, you're not wrong. I've died multiple but times. since you are here, you are most welcome to stay. Kiss my hand, and you will be one with the spirits. There will be no pain. I'd rather not. But I want to do. Challenge I did not you. I come here to die, but to demand my right of challenge. I respectfully challenge thee, death, by throwing down this gauntlet. Man may pass the portal and seek its master, death. Man may pass where death has trod, and challenge like Shahrazad. He who reigns beneath the sod, to spare a mortal's breath. He has the gauntlet! Impossible! Impossible. That really was outside! He death. Who are you to challenge death? A man of flesh is all I need to be, my lord. And what is it that you seek with this challenge? The soul of some dead maiden? I Not seek quite. the souls of King Califim and Queen Ilaria, the land of the Green Isles. You would save two human souls and emerge alive from this realm yourself? Yep. That shall be a difficult challenge indeed. The tomb does not open its doors lightly. Either all three of us leave, or none go. Oh. Very well. Then let me think of an appropriate task. Okay. Ah, yes. I have it now. Your challenge is this. 
For thousands of years, I have sat upon this throne. Uh -huh. I have heard every sad tale that can be told by human lips. Uh -huh. I have seen tragedies that ended empires, injustices that defy reason, love that would like the very stars turn cold and hard. I have seen torments that cannot possibly be born, and yet must be for centuries. This thing I have never done. I have never shed a tear. Mm -hmm. Make me cry, thou man of flesh. That is my challenge. Oh dear. Make death cry? Sooner could he turn sea to stone, or fire to ice. Well, I guess it's a good thing I got this mirror from a certain beast. If your existence has been all that you say it has, then truth alone shall be my sword. Ta-da! Your surface swirls with darkness for a moment, then fills with images even blacker. Reflections of despair, of wailing souls, of shackles colder and more immutable than any forged by man, of a world of thirsts that can never be quenched. Alexander feels the mirror tremble in his grasp and is glad that he cannot see its face. Mm. But the Lord of the Dead is transfixed to the mirror, to the screening of his life. Things long forgotten are once more uncovered. His enslavement to this throne while still a man. The years of watching misery and horror and growing ever more numb to it. The seep of his own humanity. The slow growth of a new thing altogether which became that which he is now. His is an existence that has no possibility of redemption, no end. The surrounding spirits draw away in pain. The truth is so sharp it stabs, so intense it sears. Oh. Oh. Take it away. Nope. Make it stop. I cannot. I have a task. I have a challenge. There it is. The mirror of truth cracks from the strain, and death sheds a single gray tear. We win. Truth is indeed a terrible thing. I have worn this mantle for so long, I had forgotten its dreadful weight. You shall take the souls and leave as I agreed. Thank you. You have been granted to stay from this inevitable reality. I almost envy you. Almost, Find though. the souls he has claimed and bring them to me. Here we are. King Calafim and Queen Alaria, I presume. Yep. Your hero has won you a few more years of mortality. May your souls be more prepared for their rest when you return. Yay! Thank you, my lord. I hope that they will. And you, man of flesh. Hello. My steed shall take the three of you back to the land of the living. Tell her where it is you wish to go. Until we meet again, then, I assure you, we will meet again. That's fair. No offense, my lord, but I hope that will be many long years from now. It is never as long as you might wish, mortal. Yeah. Now, be gone. Okay. Yes, my lord. See ya. Although now he's probably going to have an existential crisis after that. <laughs> uh, but it's fine, it's in the name of true love. <laughs> Are you coming, Majesty? El Hazred's treachery must be handled carefully, Alexander. Yeah. Alari and I must go gather our allies and form a plan. Watch yes. over Kasima. Make sure she comes to no harm. 
We will return as soon as we can to take back all that has been stolen from us. That's I fair. I will keep her safe until your return. Thank you, son. Your love for our daughter must be deep indeed for you to have undertaken death itself for our sakes. <laughs> indeed. Yeah. May we succeed in what awaits us and live long together as a family. Well, we'll see. Well now, we got that done at least. Excellent. But now the question remains of what to do next. Well, obviously we have a lot to do. We have to get back at the wazir for murdering the king and queen and we still got a free Kasima, and we are very very on good track for doing so but that will be in another episode uh, we're getting pretty close everybody surprisingly this is supposed to be the long uh, path but we're getting closer than you think and I'm looking forward to seeing how this ends but for now, this is Star Princess HLC saying thank you very much for watching and have a fond farewell. Mm -hmm.